Hey, what's up? It's Taka here. Welcome back to my weekly vlog. Uh, here is uh, what I've done this week. You know, I've released uh, uh, Inkdrop Drop for disc desktop version 5.5.3, uh, which has a bunch of improvement improvements like uh, new features and uh, bug fixes. Uh, so, uh, one of the new features is uh, about auto update. Uh, it's from Sheptic. Sheptic is uh, one of the very long time user. I guess he joined uh, five years ago. So, <laughs> so we've talked about, we talked a lot. And uh, <clears throat> so he requested a feature that uh, uh, allows you to disable the auto update. And uh, it's been supported, uh, <coughs> as you can see. Uh, so it allows you to disable the check for updates automatically from the preferences. And you can also uh, check for update manually from the application menu, which is useful for some people uh, if you don't need it. And the next one is a new command. Uh, it's by Ryuki-san. Uh, he wanted to open up a, a new window with a new node. So if you want to create a new node in separate window, uh, uh, you uh, press Command Shift N on Mac OS and uh, Control Shift N on Linux and Windows. Uh, for example, uh, so if you press Shift Command N, uh, it opens up a new window and you can start typing the new node which is neat. Uh, yes, okay. <clears throat> and uh, here are a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, the here, it, this one is the most important one, uh, which is uh, about uh, an issue where the app randomly, randomly crashes. So as you may know, uh, I've been dis discussing uh, with the, uh, this issue uh, with Phil and Alexis and Dimitri, and um, uh, he, uh, they helped me investigate the issue, and uh, I found that uh, upgrading Electron from 16 to 21 solved the issue. So this latest one has the uh, Electron 21, so it's been it should be fixed uh, for everyone. The next one is uh, about Markdown preview. <coughs> it's reported by James. And so he found that uh, empty link which has no no URL in the uh, that link uh, notation. So you and when you click this the the link on Markdown preview, uh, it quits. <laughs> it quit. It quits. Uh, that's weird. So uh, it's being fixed. <laughs> uh, thank you for reporting. And next one is security. Uh, it's I, I've got a vulnerability reports from the JP cert and uh, which is about uh, <coughs> potential OS injection through the Markdown preview. Uh, uh, it's uh, so if you so it it can be it can ha it can happen uh, when you copy the malicious Markdown from the internet. Uh, which uses iframe. So the, 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 the Markdown preview uh, allows you to use iframe by default. Uh, so you can embed uh, the web, web pages in your node. But uh, uh, so, so it opens up uh, a security risk. Uh, if, you, if you often copy Markdown from the internet uh, and if it has a, a uh, malicious iframe, malicious markdown, which uses iframe, and if it it loads the the uh, attacker's site, uh, it opens up a uh, potential OS injections to the the um, UR, URI like uh, SMB Samba protocol, uh, like so, and so I decided to disable it by default because uh, it's not uh, popular. Uh, um, most most people don't need to use iframe to take notes so i decided to disable it by default but if you need it you can enable it back from the previous settings uh, but be sure on this security risk 
Okay. And I also prohibit prohibit uh, web view and object HTML tags because web view is a, a electron specific tag. Uh, it's for embedding 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 uh, websites in the electron apps. Uh, so it's not a standard HTML tag. Uh, so it's being prohibited. And object tag is deprecated. Uh, so if you wanna embed uh, video or audio, uh, use uh, video tag or uh, audio tag. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's right. Um, and also other uh, bug fixes. So thanks for reporting, uh, James and Dimitri, Phil, Alexis, and uh, Luke Sam, safety. That's it. Uh, next one is uh, mobile version. Uh, so Dimitri uh, gave me some feedback about the CSS bug and uh, <clears throat> uh, mm, mm, okay. So it's about the editor, editor uh, where the editor font is not correct in iOS or also on Android. So as you can see, uh, it uses uh, different fonts in for for writing text and uh, sick. Sorry, sick, sick. Mm -mm, I don't know how to call it. Okay, <clears throat> so it should be a Menlo uh, on iOS instead of uh, uh, just a monospace font. Uh, that was a CSS bug, and I've been fixed it. I've fixed it. Yeah, which is cool. And the next one is a a server server issue. It's a it's not not an issue, but I I've been testing the uh, the UI, and uh, so there were uh, multiple button for open settings settings screen, and so uh, so I. I've removed the uh, unnecessary one. Yes, that's it. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, it got uh, uh, some new features, so I'd like to de give you a demo. <clears throat> yes, so the biggest one is uh, inline image widget, widgets. So uh, it's uh, for embedding uh, image preview in the directory in the editor so you can you can edit uh, while you can while you edit you are editing the note uh, you can see the image in the preview so instead of uh, toggling the preview like so so which is handy if you if you use insert images often Also, you can copy the image by longer press the, the image. Yeah. Oh, and also, I've got, uh, you got, uh, uh, no, no, no. You got, you got, uh, oh, yeah. So, so uh, this one is, uh, is a cool feature. If it is, uh, it allows you to go back and forth uh, notes. So uh, it, it, the desktop version already supports it. Uh, so as, it as you can see, uh, there is a arrow button uh, under the screen. So, uh, so press hide keyboard button and it turns to the the, the toolbar uh, changes the buttons for navigating uh, notes, so you can go back and forth, which is handy if you have uh, links in, internal links internal links uh, between notes, <coughs> so you can go back and forth and reading uh, multiple notes. 
quickly. <laughs> okay, the next one is uh, tag search improvement. It's uh, maybe important for uh, some people if you uh, use tags often. Uh, when so the, the 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 old version in the old version you or you always have to uh, type tag colon desk like like this, uh, which is kind of annoying. And uh, so you can now just type tag name. Boom. So you get uh, you get filter. Yes, it, it works beautifully. So it's useful. Uh, you can quickly search by tags. Uh, yeah, you can also uh, search uh, with keyword. <laughs> it works. So that's it. Uh, what I've done this week. Uh, next one is about uh, my YouTube channel. So I've been preparing to. I've been trying to discover a way to live stream with my video style, and I think I found it. So tonight. Uh, in J JST, Japan Standard Time, uh, I'm planning to do uh, live streaming, so please join us. It's, it's 10 p.m. in JST, mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, UTC plus 9 <laughs> time zone. It's night. Okay. Uh, I've written a blog post about a wrap for 2022. So what I've accomplished in 2022 as an indie developer and YouTuber, uh, I put a link in the in the weekly report, so please read it. Check it out. Yes. Uh, hmm. So, yeah, and uh, I'll take uh, the end of year holidays from December 19 to January 9th. 9th. Uh, yes, so I'll, I'll take a break uh, for a while and uh, I'd like to spend with my family and learn new things, reading books and get inspirations for uh, getting ready for 2023. And uh, yes, so uh, thank you for watching. Uh, happy pre pro prosperous 2023 to you. Cheers, have a productive day.